Fest. DJ this, this made me happy when I saw this because, you know, our guy Dave is plugged in. He says, nothing official by any means yet, but with the slow developing wide receiver market, it does sound like DJ Chark and the Lions could be a thing again in mm -hmm. 2023. And we talked about all the, you, you said, you mentioned it already, Easy. All of these contracts they've been signing have been middle loaded because the Lions have a lot of money to throw around next offseason. The Lions have, <laughs> oh have a lot of money to throw around next year. And the cap is going to jump even more. So, middle loading these and being able to maybe bring back DJ Chark for another one year deal, maybe stretching his deal out a little bit, it's exciting to me. I think if Brad Holmes gets DJ Chark back, that's an A. That's an A offseason. Oh my goodness, yes. That would be so good. You bring in Sutton. You bring in Mosley. You re-sign Anzalone, which is probably the lowest on the, on the total pole in terms of the deals he made. You bring in Glasgow. I just think that... If, if he brings back Chark, bro, he's him. If he brings back Chark, there's... What, what other box? They can do anything in the draft. They can do whatever they want. Obviously, you still need some interior defensive line, but... And you got to think they're going to grab a linebacker probably in the second round. We've talked about there's a, mm. a good crop of second round linebackers this year that they'll probably attach to. But, yeah. man, Brad Holmes is cooking, bro. If he brings back DJ Chark, I'm buying a Brad Holmes jersey.